thank you so much for attending my presentation about Chansey and Blissey, the Eternal Abyss. These two pink blobs have some of the best defensive stats in the game. Specifically, their sky-high HP stats and great special defense stats let them wall essentially any special attacker in the game with ease. For Chansey, it gets even better, taking advantage of Evie Light to make it bulkier than its evolution, trading off the opportunity to run a held item. But don't let this fool you. Blissey in particular is capable of dealing some serious damage after a calm mind boost, letting it actually force stuff out. Of course, they carry almost every support move they could ever want, from status to hazards, recovery to heal bell, they have a ton of ways to keep their team and themselves healthy. In the early generations, both Blissey and Chansey were extremely strong. Chansey was of course part of the infamous Big 3 of RBY, joined by Tauros and Snorlax. With special being just one stat, it was both the best special wall in the tier by a mile, and a strong attacker with Blizzbolt coverage. Gen 2 saw Blissey take the spotlight, which it would hold onto for the next few generations. Despite being around at the same time as GSC Snorlax, Blissey carved out a niche as an amazing defensive backbone. With Snorlax no longer running the table, it's arguably a top 3 Mon and Ruby and Sapphire. The introduction of abilities gave them natural cure, keeping themselves free from debilitating status like toxic throughout games. Even physical attackers weren't always safe, as it could throw off ice beams to deal with Flygon and Salamence. It would continue to do similar things in Gen 4, but Gen 5's new strong physical attackers dropped it down a peg, though it would remain overused. Gen 6's introduction of absurd new special attackers in every single tier was a welcome sight, but this time it was Chansey's time to shine. That heavy light bulk was vital and led to eat stronger physical hits than many thought possible. It managed to don an even more passive role, now lacking that special attack stat that Blissey used. Power creep had certainly hurt a little bit, but it wasn't enough to keep Chansey out of Pokemon's upper echelon. It was even strong in Ubers, where new Giga Thread, Cernius, and Primal Kyogre, among others, ripped everything to shreds but not Chansey, whose absurd bulk led it take them head on. When Gen 8 rolled around, the introduction of heavy duty boots kept them in the spotlight, letting them avoid hazard damage. Thus, Blissey came back in full force, not having its item slot taken by Evulite. Gen 9 has been a bit rough with Great Tusk, King Gambit, and Iron Valiant dominating from day one, but it's had strong uses. Blissey is still the best special wall, taking on opponents that nothing else could even get close to handling. Currently, both are hovering around rarely used, but as the metagame settles down, don't be surprised to see them enter the top tier once again. And now, finally, we can explore what the title of this video actually means. Blissey and Chansey are, without a doubt in my mind, completely irreplaceable and will never stop being relevant and overused. The roles that do play are wholly unique, and barring a blatant attempt to push them out of the metagame by Game Freak themselves, they will continue to be strong. This video was initially titled Pokemon's Biggest X Factors because their traits make them impossible to rule out of a format. There is no other Pokemon in existence that can take on special attackers and support its team to an extent anywhere near what the happiness and Eggmons can do. Ten years in the future, when we have almost 1,500 monsters, Chansey and Blissey will continue to influence the highest tiers of Showdown. In 20 years, when our tiering system is expanded beyond anything we could do today, Chansey and Blissey will continue to be a staple defensive Pokemon in all kinds of teams. When the Earth is inevitably swallowed by the Sun, the sentence Chansey and Blissey's monstrous HP and amazing special defense stats give them a place in OU as the best special walls around will remain on their Smogon Strategy Dex webpages, finally lost to the winds of time. There will come a day, not tomorrow, not a year from now, maybe not even in my lifetime, where they cease to matter, and when that happens, they will finally be free. In conclusion, Chansey and Blissey are so different than anything else in the metagame today that imagining a time where they aren't useful is difficult, if not impossible. The two really are the perfect duo, created to be timeless. I wish them luck on their journey through infinity. Thank you so much for watching.